<laughs> I started talking before I was recording. Uh, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and watch this episode. I'm not gonna recap. Let's start. Hey, Freddy, how you doing? Hey, all right, that's what I like to hear. My man. I wonder what it's like to see your friend, his wife plastered all over the newspaper in a scandal and you like and care about the people. I'd be pissed. I donated work for you. You can say we had a business relationship, but that you didn't take the picture of me. In the bed. It, it was photoshopped, whatever it is you need to say. I'm so sorry, Claire. I only have one print, it's still here. You have to destroy it, the digital file also. But email us a copy first. Good afternoon. Mm -hmm. I have very little to say, only that I never had any romantic involvement with Claire Underwood and that I did not take the photograph printed in the DC Daily. I'm sorry that the Vice President and his wife have to go through this ridiculous ordeal. And I would ask that the media leave both my fiance and me out of it. Fiance. Thank you. You'll be ready in an hour? She flinched. No Q and A, so don't even try. Behave yourself, people. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny. Like, don't even try. I've known Adam Galloway for years. We both have. So I'm not sure why he would deny taking the photograph. I love Adam's work, so I asked him to take this portrait. We did it here at the house. It hangs in my office on the second floor. Fucking mine. <laughs> So I can only assume that Adam was intimidated by the media attention and he needed to distance himself. Who? Your assistant. No, she would never. She would and she did. Why are you doing this? It's not me, the man I work for. And who is that? It doesn't concern you. You recognize the country code? And the city code is Bogota. The Daily. They called for a comment. Did Adam speak with him? Yes, but not what we told him to say. He sent them this. <gasps> Trisha, can I call you back? You have short hair in the picture. You said it ended over two years ago. Well, I visited him last fall. Does anyone else know? Did anyone see you there? He had friends over to his apartment. Gross. You used the word intertwined. That's the sense I'm getting from all of this. The Samarium subsidy, the Chinese refinery, the bridge, your friendship with the president. Who sent you? Who sent me? If you're going to threaten me, you don't have to go to the trouble of veiling it. I don't usually do interviews with reporters. They're parasites, usually interested in just finding a way to knock me down a peg. Invariably, what they write is inaccurate, and when that happens, I have no choice but to retaliate. He didn't say this was off the record. <laughs> America can be just as dangerous as Iran, Miss Syed. Yeah. Take mine. I got one at home. What the fuck you doing bringing that thing in here? Oh, it's just for protection, man. We gotta follow the rules. Hear me? Right. You gonna get rid of that thing? Yeah. All right. Now that's what's being a man. This sure? I have a modeling career. If I cut it that short, that If you actually money. had a modeling career, I would be speaking to your agency. <laughs> and not sitting in your apartment. Right? You want this job or not? Okay, yeah. Freddie Hayes was convicted in 1982 for sticking up a convenience store in Columbia Heights. He avoided manslaughter charges by pleading guilty to armed robbery. He served nine years. In 1992, he opened Freddie's furniture joint. I won't leave one of my own bleeding on the field. Good. 
He doesn't deserve that. He's... Oh, you don't mess with Freddy. I was wondering why we were seeing so much of him this episode. Darnell, just ignore it. Yo, you think I'm fucking around here? Darnell, oh, ignore it. Don't worry about it. I mean, they can't take our pictures if we don't want them to. Sure as hell can. I will fuck you up. You think I'm scared of you? you scared of this? Darnell, <laughs> parole! Uh, well, there it goes. Yes, that's correct. We shot this photo yesterday with Miss Daldry. So you're suggesting that Mr. Galloway's photo is a fake? Well, I don't know anything about professional photography. I'm just a flack. But if we can create a fake in less than 24 hours, I think an expert photographer like Adam Galloway... Those are serious allegations, especially given that Mr. Galloway vehemently denies it. Well, I'm not surprised he's denying it. Ultimately, though, it's going to be your word against his. Hey, Frank. I'm fine. Thanks for dropping by. Hi, hon. I've been better. Somebody's trying to take you out. Yeah. Appears that way. I have to distance myself from you. I need to make sure you're not going to play up what good friends we've been. That you've been to my office. That you've cooked dinner at my home. Or that the president was there. The franchise thing with the sauce. My business partner's pulling out. Doesn't that guy have to give you a hundred grand regardless? Hey, getting shit. There's a morality clause in the contract, but he's gonna pay me 45,000 for the storefront. That, with what little I got saved, I can pay that bond. You can't sell Freddy's. He's already drawn up the papers. Let me help you with the money. Nah, Frank. We'll make it a loan. You can pay me back. Not gonna happen. Don't be prideful. Frank. Please, let me help you. I ain't taking your guilt money. I can't take back the bad I've done. All I can do is to make my own way like I've been doing. You understand? Ain't pride, Frank. If you change your mind, you let me know. You was a good customer, that's it. You ain't gotta pretend to be my friend. You take care of yourself, Freddy. You too, Frank. We need to work together now. I tried. You lied to me. And I explained to you why that was necessary. Do you know who Remy Danton is? He approached you. And his father is a human rights activist in Bogota. The government have charged him with treason for working with the rebels. They're going for the death penalty, and Danton said they have the judge in their pocket. I can get the charges dropped. Why should I trust you? Because the Secretary of State is a good friend of mine, and because you don't have any other choice. We're not your chess pieces. And this isn't a game, Mr. Galloway. Then why are you toying with us? We are trying to help. Oh, that's a fucking joke, Claire. Do not talk to my wife that way. Oh, your wife? <laughs> What does that even mean to you? Do not mistake any history you have shared for the slightest understanding of what our marriage is or how insignificant you are in comparison. I'm sorry, I haven't met you. All you've ever done is caused me pain. Now you're fucking with my life and the life of the woman that I love more than I ever loved you. Lies, but okay. The value of your work had been stagnating and you wanted to... No, Claire, I won't do that. Yes, you will. How about I tell the Adam, press that I was shut up! Here? That you wanted the attention, then you got cold feet, denied it, then you changed your mind again. And that you faked the shower photo, and you're coming clean. We're giving you an out, Adam. And if you choose not to take it, I will bury you. Why do you can trump President Moreno? And he's very sensitive to Durant's views on human rights. Are you giving up on this? No, just being realistic. Work on Moreno then. Start leaving footprints. Quiet. Excuse me? Uh, not you. <laughs> I think obvious. I employ people who can be useful to me, and you are proving otherwise. Quiet now. I'll figure something out. Soon. Did kill this bird? As for Raymond, we have to strike back hard and fast. I want him obliterated. More than that. Let's make him suffer. You heard that one. I don't know whether to be proud or terrified. <laughs> Perhaps both. Is there anything else you want to take? A memento or something? Yeah. 
I ain't one for looking back. Eyes ahead. Good luck, Freddy. That's shitty. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. I'm so mad. Buying the store, it came out of nowhere. And Freddy asked that one time, like, where, you know, where's this coming from or whatever it was he asked. And this music is not helping. <laughs> uh, all right, that's it. I'll see y'all in the next one.